What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Dad's Zen. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really do appreciate you. With that being said, Mika Nandri. So this video has been suggested by one person over 60 times. I know that for sure. He's been waiting a long time. Very patient, and I appreciate that. You know who you are. So for today's reaction video, I'm going to be reacting to a song called Athamaga Una Nanachu. Okay? And this is by Antakuri Ilairaja. Okay? I have not heard this song, okay? Um, by the way, is this attached to a movie or is this just a song, standalone song? So please let me know down below. I would love to know what this is attached to, all right? And just so you know, there are no lyrics on this video here that I'm watching, so I found lyrics online and they will be up on the side of the video here below me. So if you see my eyes going back and forth, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at the English translation for the song, okay? So here we go. Sounds really pretty. Atamaga won nana nati, araga kavi the won move at it. Atamaga won nana nati, araga kavi the won move at it. Atana yumaran the bute, adi ye won na patarumi. Says this a very traditional classic sound to patarumi, adi anjigame, won na conjanume. That sounds pretty right there, that flute. Beautiful sound right there. The strings along with the little hand drummy thing. So yeah, so is this attached to a a movie? So here's Lakshmi. Very pretty voice. right there. I wonder where that is. Oh, 
கால் குறிச்சே He was seen like he could feel like emotion you know even though his face wasn't showing a lot just from his voice it's amazing how a voice can do that though that's a clever cinematography right there see what i'm saying though what, not a lot of facial expression from him but if you listen to his voice you can kind of you feel it you feel that emotion all right well let me get into my thoughts here so like I said at the beginning, this video didn't have the subtitles on the video itself. So I was trying to go back and forth with the lyrics, which turned out to be a little bit harder than I thought. So what I ended up doing was I just ended up just watching the video, just letting the video play, listening to the words, listening to the music, kind of just taking it in. And then afterwards, what I just did right now is I went back and looked at the translation and everything like that. So this song, I mean, the lyrics, the the whole thing, it's a it's a it's a very beautiful song. It's a very beautiful melody. But anyway, the lyrics were beautiful. The lyrics were strong. The lyrics were emotional, very emotional. And it was kind of like what I was saying. Both of them, this both of them singing, did not show a lot of emotion as far as their face goes. They literally were standing in front of a microphone and singing. And part of that is when you're going to be recording something, you're not, you know, doing all these different hand motions and dancing and all that. You're recording it so it sounds perfect for the album that you're recording or for the music that you're recording. However, even though both of them did not have a lot of facial expressions and things with their faces and all these whatever, you could feel it in their voices. And that's when you know there's a it's a good singer and um when you can feel emotion coming through your voice, I think that kind of more determines who a good singer is. Pop singers, you know, they got to dance, they got to do all these crazy things and, you know, dance on stage and sing and all that stuff. But if you just straight up listen to the voice and listen to the emotion that was coming out of that song, I felt like there was a lot of emotion coming out of both of their voices, which was really impressive. With songs like this, I do wish that I could understand a little bit more. I know I had the Google translation and the translation of what the lyrics were there. But um, I know that a song like this, I think it really, to really feel what it's what you're supposed to be feeling, I think you got to have, you know, a better, uh, better knowledge base of what the language means and some of the cultural things mean, I, I really do believe. Um, so as far as me being able to feel the true emotion of the song, I did my best. But I know that there's, I mean, gosh, this video here, 28 million people. So clearly 28 million people are very connected to this song very emotionally invested in this song so i just wish i could feel that same thing that they were feeling and you guys are feeling when you watch this song i just i wish i could but unfortunately i can't but i did my best to try to you know try to soak it all in but anyway um hope you like my thoughts on it now what we're going to do is we're going to get to the section where i'm going to feature you guys comments i'm going to pick a video on my channel and i'm going to take three of your comments and we'll put you up on the screen right here with me and um yeah, so I mean, maybe you'll be famous. Maybe you can tell all your friends, hey, I was on Dad's Den. Did you see my comment? That would be really cool. But anyway, let's do that now. So I'm going to go back to my Enthara Enthara reaction, and I will take three of your comments. So here we go. First comment comes from Ilala Rossi. Krishnan, let me know if I pronounced your first name correct. It says, while I'm driving, I used to listen to this song. Nice music and lyrics. I too like this song very much. Isn't that funny? Like you find a song that is just so good, and you just love it so much that you'll just put it on in your car and drive. I have so many songs like that. but. Anyway, thanks for that comment. I like how you shared that. Next comment comes from Depika Murali, and it says, Hey, Ken, thank you so much for reacting to one of my favorite songs. I really enjoyed it. Happy. Thank you again. Please do a reaction to other songs in this movie. Please. It's a request. Well, thank you, Depika. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you liked my reaction to that song. It was a very good song, by the way. I really like that one. So anyway, thanks for that comment. Last comment comes from Thamim Edits, and it says, Yeah, Dad, surely you have to watch this movie because it's pretty good with a smiley face. So in that uh, video, I actually asked the question, Hey, you guys, I know I like this song, but would I like the movie? And you guys never steer me wrong, so you're like, Yeah, you guys should watch this movie. I actually had a lot of you guys tell me that. So anyway, thank you, Thamim Edits, for that comment. 
And thank you all for your comments. I really do appreciate every single one of them. I really do. That's why I do this section where I get to feature you guys. I want to put you up on the screen with me just to show my appreciation and show that you are part of the Dad's Den family, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to get to our quote of the day. We end every single video the quote of the day. Something to inspire you, something to encourage you, something to make you feel good. And I was talking really, really fast right there. I don't know why. But anyway, we're going to get to quote of the day, and here it is. There is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve. The fear of failure. If you guys want to hit that dream, you got you to go do it. You got to go do it. Yeah, you might fail. That's okay. But you can't be afraid to fail because that's going to happen. All right. And then you just keep going until you get to your dream. All right, guys, that's the quote of the day. Well, good inspiration. So, well, I can't even speak right now. That was the quote of the day. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked this video. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.